Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I've got another short video for you this week. Today, I want to talk to you about taking some of your old digital photos and making brushes out of them. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to make a brush, uh, how to make a water brush. Well, this week, I want to show you how to make a pattern brush using one of your photos. Now, keep in mind, you can do this with photos of rocks. You can do this with photos of leaves on the ground. Today, I'm going to take the spotted pattern of a cheetah, we're going to grab that and we're going to make a brush out of it. So let me show you what I've got. Right here, I've got this great photo that my son took of a cheetah in Africa showing off its beautiful coat. And I thought it was interesting because it was raining. There was some nice, you know, the way the fur is wet, it, it just bunches up nicely. And I thought it would make a nice pattern. So before we get into that, though, I want to create another document. So I'm going to go up to File, New. And I'm going to create a 5 inch by 5 inch 300 DPI document. Okay, this is where we're going to make our brush. So let's go back to our cheetah. I'm going to grab my lasso tool and right here in the shell shoulder. I really like that area. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that right there. And I'm going to grab my move tool. We're going to move it right over to our document there. Our cheetah we don't need anymore because we've got the pattern. Now, there's a few things that we have to do here in order for us to make a brush out of it. First thing is I want to get rid of, well, first of all, I want to resize it. So let's go to edit and free transform and just size it down like so. Go ahead and center it just like that. Okay. Now, here... When you make a brush, um, the pixel, it's not, it doesn't recognize color, so we don't need the color. So I'm going to go to edit, uh, image, image uh, adjustments, image adjustments, and we're going to hue and saturation. I'm going to take out all the saturation. We still have hard edges, and, and, uh, and our values are still kind of dark. What we're, we're going to want to the, we're going to want the brush to be see-through, and so I want to push some of that contrast and then get rid of the white. So first I want to push the contrast. So let's go to image adjustments, exposure. And I'm going to start pushing the exposure. I'm going to start pushing some of the gamma correction to push the contrast. And right about there, I like what's there. I like the amount of gray we have in there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the background so you can see the transparency. I'm going to go to select. And I'm going to go to color range and I'm going to take my my ink dropper and just touch the white and hit OK. And then I'm going to go to command X and it's going to drop the white out. So now you can see anything that that's darker than white um, is what's going to be painted. Anything that's white will show whatever the color is under the painting when you're brushing, you know, when you use the brush. But we still, right now, we still have hard edges. So I'm going to grab my eraser, and I'm going to go and make it a nice, soft, round eraser. And I'm going to make it rather large. Just get rid of, I'm going to turn on the background as well, because when you make the, the uh, when you turn off the background, it's a little harder to see if you're getting rid of all the pigment or not. So I'm make sure I want to make sure that I'm getting rid of all that pigment on the edge or light. It's not really pigment, is it? I'm painting digitally. And I'm going to really feather it. Just like so. So now we've got this feel. All right. I want to go ahead and turn off well let's see I'll turn I like that I like what we've got so let's go ahead and turn off the background because now we want to make a brush out of it I'm gonna go ahead and click on my on my paintbrush and I'm gonna to go to edit and come down to define brush preset I'm gonna hit OK so now we've got a brush let me turn that off turn that on create a new layer and if I use this brush now let's shrink it down a little bit You'll see I've got a brush, 
but it's not really doing what we want it to do, is it? So we need to give it some different parameters. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go up to this folder up here, and these are my brush presets. This is where I can start to play with it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to push the spacing a little bit more. There we go. So now if I use it, it's at least got something happening there, right? But it's a little too repetitive. So now I'm going to go into Shape Dynamics. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to push the size jitter. So it'll jitter in size as we go. So it'll make it feel a little bit more random. I'm also going to push the angle jitter a little bit, just a touch. I'm also going to go to the control and go down to direction. Now it's going to follow. No matter how I draw, it'll follow. And it's still a little bit not quite where I want it. So I'm going to push the size jitter a little more. And this is where you can just experiment with it. I'm going to go back to brush tip shape, maybe pull back a little on the spacing. Maybe push the spacing further apart and see what happens there. But you can see now we're starting to get an interesting brush. Okay. And there's all kinds of things you can do with this. Like I said, go in there and play with it and just see some of the different parameters that you can find. Because I think you'll have some fun with that. Look at that. Now keep in mind, like I said, doing this with rocks, doing this with rock textures, doing this with, with uh, leaf textures on the ground, these are all really great shortcuts for your digital art, especially if you're doing developmental work, environmental work, uh, character design, that sort of thing. These are great shortcuts for you to get to the to the end process a lot quicker. You know, we always talk about, you know, is this cheating or not? You know, when you're on a deadline and you need to get work done, any cheat will help in order for you to get your designs across to the art director or the directors as quickly as possible. So any kind of cheat that I can find, I'm always all over it. So let me show you, uh, this is a painting that I, a digital painting that I did a while back. Um, it's just these, these two uh, lions, but I thought it would be interesting to show you, you know, if I wanted to put spots on her fairly quickly, um, all I'd have to do is come in and I, I might have to adjust these a little bit, but I could just come in and just draw right along the sides of her. And boom, look at that. She's got spots now. Let me erase away on the edges. Maybe give it a little fade. Like they fade out like on some cats. Look how quickly we just gave her spots. You know, maybe we go, let's go to the brush presets. Let's push the spacing a little bit. Let's, uh, I'm going to go to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to flip the X and the Y. I'm just going to make it a little bit more random. See what happens. Push the spacing there. And let's go to, um, let's turn this off. And try it on her again. Look at that. See that? So look how cool that is. So if you're if you're creating a character that has patterns that needs patterns on it and you're in a hurry, you know, drawing and painting these spots takes time and you're in a hurry and you just need to get an approval on something. Look how quick that is. You can vary up the size. Let's say we want to Get some smaller spots on the face. Just clean up the edges. See there? <laughs> now all of a sudden we have a, a lion with spots. Let's go ahead and give it some different color. Put something different on him.
So there you go, folks. That's how you can take a photograph, sample some of the patterns or some of the textures in the photograph, and you can create a brush out of it. We did that in a matter of minutes, and it works great. Um, once again, try it with different, you know, try it with rocks, try it with leaves, try it with anything you can find. I find this really handy when I'm trying to create textures that might take a long time to render, and I just need it laid in really quickly. So, anyway, hope you learned something there. Go on out, try it, put some beauty back in the world, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.